looking back three or four weeks ago, George, um, recovering from the collarbone, did you ever imagine you'd be sitting here in that jersey right now? No, not really. Um, you know, I, I couldn't even ride uh, four weeks ago. I couldn't ride outside. So it was definitely up in the air. But, I, you know, I had one of my best tours ever this year. Um, I felt really good, and uh, so I, I was I was relying on the fact that, you know, this has been I had a good tour, and I was hoping I could have some residual form from that, uh, you know, which I guess I ended up having that. How about your sentiments on the race now being announced that's coming here again next time? That's great. You know, I think I uh, heard that was up in the air. But I think they really, uh, the, the community really supports it. They get behind it. Uh, so it's a, it's a great, great race. I mean, it's so selective, so much more selective than, than Philly was. Um, so I think that it really shows, uh, you know, the strongest guys when, when uh, we race here. How about going up five times again, Paris Mountain, instead of four? You know, I was thinking about that. That would be that'd be tough. I don't know how I won it last in 2006. It was five times, but I think only ten guys finished yeah. the race in the time limit. So I don't think they really enjoyed that. But, uh, you know, it's fine for me. It'll just be uh, it'll be more even more selective. So Jeff, why don't you talk about uh, the break? Because there were two BMC and two um, Kelly um, and then solo riders. So what was your strategy going to that? You know, at that point. Um, well, I knew that, you know, it was obvious that uh, George was the fastest guy and, 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 and the strongest, he, you know, the way that he rode the, the Paris Mountain he would, and was still there and, and looking really good, that really if we did go to the line as a group, it wasn't going to work. And uh, so knowing that Brent was there, um, that he, you know, kind of had my back, um, I knew that, you know, it had to be, had to be a solo move um, if I had a chance. So, just kind of looked for the, you know, the right opportunity, and you know, made sure it was close enough to the line where I had a chance. And also, I was I was worried about, you know, initially we were, you know, it was, was kind of touch and go that we were going to hold off the, the, the back nine, mm -hmm. um, because some of it was that we were goofing around a bit early on. Um, some guys I think thought that oh, well, I'm an individual, I'm going to have a free ride, and, and I think once they realized that there were nine guys hunting them really. You know, hunting us pretty aggressively. I think everyone realized that it was better to, to try to ride, and so uh, you know, it, in the end, it didn't. You know, it was great to have Brent there as a teammate, and, and but um, you know, being in the, you know the other guys, it kind of evened out because luckily we had a group chasing us, so we had to kind of keep moving down the road. Um, so it wasn't as uh, you know, could have if, if the gap had gone way out, I think it would have been especially um, beneficial to have another teammate there. But in the end, it was it was good to have him right there, and he ended up fourth. So uh, it was a good day for BMC. Jeff, would you like to comment at all about the crowds on Paris Mountain and what that was doing for you guys, or were you sort of like George, where you were at the limit and maybe weren't here? Yeah, you know, in retrospect, you kind of think back, you know, wow, that was that was pretty impressive. That was a great crowd, you know, and and. And really, the, the the finishing circuit was really impressive. You know, I think not having the race on Labor Day weekend made it. You know, more people came out, um, and like it was a pretty it was a pretty impressive roar coming through the start finish. Um, particularly, just you know, yeah. <laughs> George's wheel in the last <laughs> the last couple hundred meters. You know, everyone was pretty psyched. So it was, uh, you know, it was, it's 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 this is a great crowd, and, and uh, you know the. the the town obviously is behind the race, and uh, so it's you know that that makes it worthwhile. Um, you know, it's it's kind of silly to race in front of nobody, um, especially for a national championship because it is a big deal. And you know, and, and in America, it's not always the case that you get good support. So it's you know when when we do have races with good spectatorship, it's really nice. It's great. You know, it's a, it's an honor. Jeff, you guys sat out the TT yesterday to focus on the road race solely. Uh, how fresh were you coming into today, and did that play a role in you guys putting two riders in the front at the end? Yeah, most definitely. You know, it's a hard effort in, in the TT, and you know, if you're not going to win, or you you know, you need to go into the time trial and ride at full gas. You know, because it's like you know, it's, it's first, second, or third, and really only first that matters. So to you know, to go into time trial just for, you know, for fun or for practice is silly. Um, and, you know, the way that Dave rode was pretty untouchable.
untouchable. So, you know, we were we came in focused on the one one event and uh, I think it worked. It was I think it was a little hard for Brent to not get to do the time trial, but um, I you know, I think if you asked him now I think he'd be pretty happy with his result and uh, he's he's riding really well and, and uh, you know, and the whole BMC team rode really well today. It was uh, it was a good, good team effort, so I, I think it worked out. One question for you, George. Can you take us specifically through uh, your training or, or even that lack of uh, period from the time you broke your collar on? You off the bike for two weeks, or specifically just walk us through the, the five-week period leading into that? Yeah, well, <clears throat> um, after the tour, you got to take some time off anyway because you're so tired. But uh, I was meant to do San Sebastian, which is the next weekend after the tour. And then Hamburg and the Tour of Ireland, so I had quite a heavy race schedule. Um, and as soon as I got an X-ray the Tuesday after the tour, uh, the team said, you know, I couldn't, couldn't race until that was healed up. So I flew back to America and took about two weeks um, off, or, or really easy. And then, uh, you know, I still, even after two weeks, I still had to be really careful. I couldn't really do any group rides or anything because if I crashed, um, it would have been pretty, pretty bad for the shoulder. So I had to baby it for. At least you know four weeks baby in it, but I was able to go out and ride, and um, ended up doing a lot of motor racing in the last couple of weeks uh, with my my Swanier that I have here. Uh, he takes good care of me, so we did a lot of motor racing and a lot of uh, massage, and uh, he kept me uh, you know as fit as possible for for race day. And then the, those two weeks, uh, were you all completely off the bike, or were you on a turbo trainer or a um, roller trainer? I snuck out a couple of days because I can't ride turbo trainer in, in, in the sun, especially in the summer. It just drives me crazy. Um, but I, you know, I took it easy. And fortunately, I think my training worked out perfectly. I, mean, I did a lot of motor pacing on Paris Mountain. I was, I was motor pacing, uh, doing nine minute flat up up uh, Paris Mountain, which is which is fast, uh, fast pace. Um, so I knew that, you know, no matter who went on the climb, it's going to be nobody was going to be able to get rid of me, and I ended up being one of the strongest guys in the climb anyway. So. I knew that if we came down to just racing up the climb, then I'd be good. Final question for George. I have one more, George. In July, you narrowly missed out on another jersey. Now you have this one. What does this win mean in light of what transpired at the Tour? Oh, it's great. I mean, you know, I'm not much of a... Uh, I'm a, I'm a typically happy person, but I was very uh, disappointed that day, and I, I think that disappointment, you know, helped help motivate me to train hard for for this day. And, um, you know, but that that's bike racing stuff happens, and I've had a lot of close calls in my career, but I can't really complain. It's been a decent career so far, and uh, you know, I got a, a lot of other things in my life that uh, keep me happy. <laughs>